Influenza virus is a highly infectious virus that spreads very fast uh, locally, nationally, and also internationally. Influenza infection can be a very severe infection with complications like pneumonia, meningitis. It can be also a moderate infection or even a mild infection. Many times, influenza is also an infection that doesn't give us any symptoms, but we are infectious for other people. The Independent Advisory Committee, the JCVI, advised in 2012 that all children up until the age of 17 should receive the flu vaccine. And the reason for this is that we know that children do spread the infection. And if we can get the vaccine into children, they'll stop taking it home to their families, they'll stop spreading it between each other. So the idea this year is that we vaccinate all children from two years up to about seven years. So that's two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, children in year one and children in year two. And that should take us through. And then the program will be extended as we go through. Age is a very important risk factor when one is infected with the influenza virus. This is because we fare worse and we have a higher risk of developing the complications of influenza like a chest infection, pneumonia, meningitis, and so on. Also, the over 65s usually suffer from a chronic condition. Not everybody, but quite a number of us do. And again, our chronic condition can actually worsen if we were to contract influenza infection. Pregnant women are as at risk as any other member of the population of getting flu, but for them, the consequences can be much more severe. For some women, we know since the last swine flu epidemic that a number of women, unfortunately, have had such severe complications that not only has they, have they lost their baby, but in a small number of cases, those women themselves have died. So I would encourage all of you, if you know that anyone is pregnant, to suggest that they go and have their flu vaccine. One of the added benefits of women having a flu vaccine is not only that they are protecting themselves and their family members from flu, but also they're protecting their unborn child. And they will give some uh, passive immunity to their child, which will last for a few weeks after the child is born. If they continue to breastfeed after that time, then the baby will continue to have immunity from its mother. So you can see it's a very long lasting effect through the flu season of that year. There are significant consequences for unpaid carers not having a flu vaccine. Of course, the thing with flu is it hits really without notice. And so people can be instantly laid down sick and are really not unable to support the person that they care for. There's a real consequence for that. So it's really important that unpaid carers do go and get their flu vaccine. We have uh, the vaccine available for anybody aged up to 65 who has a chronic condition. And these chronic conditions can be a respiratory condition, like asthma that is treated with uh, inhaled steroids, uh, bronchiectasis, COPD, emphysema. Beyond that, we have got patients with chronic heart disease, patients with liver disease, kidney disease, anybody who has a chronic neurological condition, like uh, a stroke or a TIA, the mini stroke, uh, Parkinson's disease, MS. It's really important that healthcare workers get the flu vaccine and the reason for this is A, because we don't want them to get the infection and being in the sort of jobs that they are exposed to people who are sick and potentially have influenza themselves, they're more likely to catch it. But also because if they do get influenza, then and they spread it to the people that they're looking after who are by definition vulnerable, have other long-term conditions and more likely to have more severe consequences of having influenza. So it's really important that healthcare workers really see themselves as, as, as being at the forefront of, of stopping that spread of infection. We do really well with uh, targeting our particular over 65s and getting nearly 75% uptake. Healthcare workers, we're stuck at around just under 50% and it's not good enough. So we really need to focus our efforts on all healthcare workers having the vaccine. 
all children um, who, who are in at-risk groups should go to their GP to have the vaccine and the children who are targeted at age two, age three and age four should also go to their GP to have the vaccine. But the children who are in years one and year two who we're giving to blanket to all children, um, there will be schools programmes so that the children don't have to get time off to go to the GP, they don't have to have extra appointments and obviously if the children are having, them where, having the vaccine where they are, it will be a much better programme to make sure that all children are vaccinated. If you are 65 and over or in any of the groups at risk under 65 and therefore you are eligible for a free NHS influenza vaccine, go to your general practice surgery and they will have the vaccine there for you. There will be special clinics, um, even sometimes on weekends where you can walk in and have your vaccine provided you are in one of the groups at risk we have mentioned. Once we come into the flu season, which is from October, midwives will offer each woman the opportunity to have a flu vaccine. She can have this at any stage in the pregnancy and there are many places where she can get her vaccine. The, the midwife will inform her about local arrangements, but she will have a choice of her GP surgery, often with the practice nurse, or in local pharmacies who are able to provide this for her free when she lets them know that she's pregnant. There are two main ways that unpaid carers can get hold of the flu vaccine. Um, if they're looking after somebody who's particularly vulnerable, they may already have been automatically invited uh, to receive the flu vaccine at their GPs, and if not, they can request it at their GPs. The other places in some areas, uh, unpaid carers can go to pharmacies uh, to receive their flu vaccination as well. So today, uh, I'd really ask you all uh, to encourage your constituents to go and get their free flu vaccination. It's really important.